What is up, Drama Alert Nation? I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's get right into the news. I'm sorry about that. That's this. this. This should never have happened. Well, this is kind of weird now, isn't it? Aren't you tired, guys, of just seeing me standing up in front of a black background all the time? I know I am, and uh, obviously there's still a lot of black behind me, but I do have a white desk, and I thought, guys, if I'm going to do a mail opening video, if I'm serious about opening mail, why not do it on a table or something? Can you imagine me using a table or something so you guys can actually see the mail properly? Wow. And while I'm at it, guys, I could also do just a little bit of Matt Shea ASMR for you. If this video gets 10,000 likes, I'll make an entire video dedicated to Matt Shea ASMR. All right, so before I waste any more of your time, guys, let's open some mail. I got this right here. This is a bunch of mail, as you can see. I try not to show you too much, just in case there's like return addresses on it. There's no return addresses here. This is a bunch of mail. And I also have some boxes down there, and there's a box right here. What's in this one, huh? What could be in that box? We'll find out. This first letter is from Jimmy in North Carolina. Woohoo, Jimmy. Dear Matt Shea, I'm a longtime fan and heard that you miss the Canadian penny. So here you go. <laughs> Wait, did I say I miss the Canadian penny? Penny suck, dude. Look at this. It's pretty much worthless. It's only worth like one penny or something. Why would you want one of these? Nobody wants these, okay? Honestly, do you know how much better a pile of money looks when there's no pennies in it? Way better. This one is from... Nobody. Oh, wait. <laughs> you can see it on the back. It says from Calvin. That's my chin. Wow. Oh, when's he coming back? Hello, Matt. My name is Calvin, and I live in London, Ontario, and I've been a wizard since 200 to 300,000. Your channel at that time was the only thing I understood. Wh what? Why? And it brought me joy to come back from school and watch so delightful. <laughs> anyway, I hope you're reading this on a video if it's on December 7th. It would be my birthday. Okay, it's not. It's not on December 7th. Uh, can you add 21 days to that? But let's keep this short so I have a few things to ask and blah, blah. My favorite series is probably Polybridge. Please come back to it someday. It's too hard, okay? It's just way too hard now. Also, if you have not noticed, I typed this out because I can't write for shit. Good idea, dude. That's honestly like the best decision you've made ever. And I don't even know you, but I know that's the best decision you ever made, okay? Look at this beauty. It's from Milton. Open up, Milton. What you got? We have one... Spider lollipop. There's spiders and blood on it. Because that's what everybody wants to eat. And <laughs> we have a candy that says Dame on it. Like, you know, when you when you see the booty. Dame! Oh, and we also have Perlers. Uh, it says Hama beads here. So I guess these are different. We call them Perlers. And it's me in Perler form. Yeah! Hama bead form. It's in hama bead form. Hama bee, hama bee, hama 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 bee. Dear Meche from a very gig fan. No, it literally says very gig, okay? I'm not making this up. I'm not making fun of the dude. He's a very gig fan. I am from Norway. Anyways, enough of me. I love your videos exceptionally, your Flash game series. Backside on the back, obviously. As he said it, not me. I'm not trying to throw shade at this kid, okay? Jeez, guys, come on. I watch you every day because you're one of my favorite channels on YouTube, if not the favorite. He told me to check out the useless web. Hey, Milton, I already did that forever ago, okay? All right, shall we eat this thing? Find out what this thing tastes like? Huh? It's chocolate. Damn! Mm, 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 mm. And now, for some ASMR chewing. Quick pros and cons list of the thing I just ate. Pros. Really fucking good. Cons. It's all stuck in my teeth now. That's the list. So I'm just going to assume that Dame is the Norwegian equivalent of a score bar here in North America. You know, it's got like toffee in the middle. So good. Next letter from Leyland in Ontario. Hi, Matt. It's me, Leland again. Apparently I was pronouncing it wrong, guys. It says here, Leland pronounced Lee. Lind. Anyways, you might have noticed in my last note, the text is blue. Long story short, my printer ran out of black ink and most of the letter is me saying things because I said I would write you back. But another thing, I noticed on the video that you were confused about my gender, which is they cut it out of the letter. It's gone. I will never know. In case you were wondering, why did you do that to me, Leland? Huh? I noted in the last letter that I was watching your videos while writing it. So right now I'm watching you reading my letter, which means that you are reading a letter about you reading a letter while I'm writing a letter while watching a video of you reading a letter. Okay. Hopefully you'll read this before New Year's, Leland. Guess what, Leland? 
Let me check the date. I'm reading this before New Year's. Obviously, I know that it's December 28th because uh, th that's obvious, but this video is probably going to go up before New Year's. I hope my microphone isn't too hairy for you guys. I was recently watching an Emma Blackery video, the one about YouTube Rewind, and her microphone was hairy, and I was like, yes! I'm not the only person with a hairy microphone! And it was the same one, too, so I felt great. All right, this next letter is from, what the hell? Thutmosis, oh, Egypt. What, is this letter from Egypt? Damn, it is, wow! Sup, my homie Matt, my name is Alex, but I prefer EV, and guess what? I'm 20 years old, isn't that great? Yes, it is great that you're double the age of my average male sender. Anyway, you maybe don't want to know this, but I'm an Egyptian American. I lived in America for at least 18 years until me and my family got forced to go back to Egypt for legal reasons. I think this dude got deported by Trump. Damn. This one's from Caden in Newfoundland. Hmm. Gotta love them Newfies. Yes, boy loves it. Hey, Matt, my name is Caden, and I live in Newfoundland, and I have a brother, and we don't get along well, but when I show him your videos, and he laughs a lot. Mm. Found your channel when I was in fourth grade. I was searching up goat simulator videos, so I clicked on yours out of curiosity. And then you upload a battle cat, still one of my favorite series that you post. When you started Duck Life and people started to say one hour Duck Life video, I didn't think you would do it. But you did, and that was funny. <laughs> I hope it was funny because it was the worst experience of my life. This one's from Isaac in Ontario. I got a lot of people from Ontario. I mean, I know it's the biggest province in Canada, but still, it's like, what are, what are all the Ontari Ontari yeah, yans, Ontarians doing? Ontario onions doing. Whoa, look at this, guys. Dear Matt, I am Isaac. I'm 11 and I live in Whippy, Ontario. I love your videos. My favorite series is the Battle Cats. Thank you, dude. This one is from a mystery person in Cleveland. Yeah. Oh my god. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. Came in one piece. Dear Matt Shea, sorry about not adding a return address. I just don't feel that comfortable sharing that. Look, fair enough. Okay, I am a stranger and. I wouldn't share anything with me. None of your content has ever disappointed me. In fact, it always brightens my day. Stop it, you! This one is from Richmond, Virginia. Hmm. It also says, read this on video, please. So, fine. Dear Matt Shea, I'm 11 years old, almost 12. I've been watching your Battle Cats videos for almost a year. I'm a big fan of your videos. They always make me laugh. By the way, I am from Chesapeake, Virginia, and I love your Battle Cats videos. You love my Battle Cats videos. Is that why you've been watching them for an entire year? You are so hilarious and awesome. You always make me smile and always make me happy. I know what always makes you feel good whenever you make somebody's day. I forgot to mention I'm in sixth grade and I go to school at Redacted. Keep making videos, Matt. Thanks for being awesome. Adrian. All right, guys, this is the last paper thing, and then I got a couple of packages to open for you. This is from somebody in Mississauga, Ontario. Ooh, I like it. No, oh, that's it. Ah, that's on the back. Now you guys can see the fan art, which is pretty cool. It's me, and I'm standing on an octopus because I hate Nature. Hi, Matt. My name is Hassan. I suppose that's how it's pronounced. Sorry if I'm wrong. And I'm 11 years old. I watch a lot of your videos because they are funny and great. I started to play some of the games you play because they look cool. And then one day, you're going to wake up and you're going to look in the mirror and you're going to be Matt Shea. And it's going to be the worst day of your life, dude. Trust me. I wake up every day. And now, our feature presentation. This is from Andrew in New Mexico. I'm going to stab it. Ah. All right. The box has been opened, guys. Whoo, baby, it's all like gift wrapped and stuff. There's a little letter here. <laughs> Dear Matt, we are a family of fans from New Mexico, USA. Mike, Jen, Alexis, and Andrew. Wow, that's really cool. And, and the youngest person in the family is 17. How crazy is that? None of them are 10. Andrew created a YouTube account in 2015 just to watch your videos. This summer, he had his jaw surgically broken. Wow, okay. Jeez, calm down, dentist, am I right? He had a lot of free time. In the beginning, he limited how many videos he watched because laughing hurt. <laughs> we watched Besiege, Ducks, Battle Cats, Sims Baby Challenge. Oh, that granny. <laughs> naughty, naughty, smiley face. Look, you guys, you're all old enough to to watch, so it's cool. Andrew played so many of your videos, he slowly converted the rest of us into viewers. Guys, how how cute is that? How cute is it that there's a family out there, a family of four, and they all sit down and watch my videos. It's a little bit weird because, you know, nobody likes to see people watching their own videos. I love hearing about it, but I don't, I never like to see it. I don't, I, I, whenever people turn on my videos in my presence, I just kind of go, 
<laughs> but on the internet, guys, nothing nothing feels real, so it's all good, okay? <laughs> the dog DNA was a favorite. We have dogs too. Pez, and then they put D Spencer in brackets. I guess that's what they call their dog. Pez D Spencer, good name. Uh, Pez Spencer is a blue lacy Texas State game dog, and Red Vines, Vines is in brackets, so the dog's name is Red, is a pit pitbull lab mix. We wanted to thank you for the entertainment you provided while Andrew was healing. He always had something to look forward to. The treats and candies are from our local stores and businesses. Hope you enjoy them, Mike, Jen, Alexis, and Andrew. This is great! Ooh, what is this? Heart of the Deserts. Pistachios. Salted roasted pistachios, really? Oh, and the best thing about it, guys, no offense, guys, uh, you know, to the people who send me this, it's in it's in a plastic bag. It always feels better when people send you things that are not opened. I, I, someday someone's gonna try and kill me. I'm gonna open a pistachio. My wife loves pistachio flavored things, but I don't think she likes pistachios themselves. Like, what's up with that? Hmm. Tastes like a pistachio. Some rubber ducks, obviously. Oh, this one's wearing a wizard hat. Wow. <laughs> All right. Chili pecan praline. <laughs> That's interesting. And this one is pecan praline. Okay, so a spicy sp spicy praline and a regular praline. I don't know if I've ever had praline before. It's a weird name, isn't it? Well, what else is in here? Is this more pistachios? Oh, red chili pistachios, ha <laughs> ha. Well, uh, I just opened up pistachios, so I won't open these up, but damn, do they look good. Mm. Anything that's spicy is automatically my favorite. What the hell is that? Oh, it's tamarind. So tamarind, guys, is some sort of, I don't even know what it is, man, but it, it seems to be popular in Spanish-speaking places. Okay, so this is a gordita de tamarindo, and it's a sweet and spicy tamarind patty. It's some sort of like vegetable thing, fruit. You may like turn into a pulp, then you eat it. This is also tamarind. This is tamarind flavor candy. So it's like a lollipop, I guess. Hmm. You guys are too nice to me. Thank you. Ah, now here's something that's going to come in handy, guys. Bottle opener, fridge, magnet, coaster. It's all the things. This is a New Mexico Pin. The colors of the New Mexico flag are the colors of Spain, which were brought over by Spanish explorers in 1540. 1540, that's a long time ago. Check that out. Oh, we got a postcard from New Mexico. Hmm, who would've thought? Then we got Heart of the Desert Dark Chocolate Pistachio Bark. I guess pistachio is popular down there or something. And we have Crazy Mango Jellies. Huh. What? Hot, hot mango jellies. Look at that. Whoo. Damn, dude. Am I about to go on a flavor experience? Am I about to book a one-way ticket to Flavor Town? I think so. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. Mm. That was a very tasty hot mango jelly. Okay. That is it, guys. That is everything that's in this box. I still have one more box, but damn. Thank you. You guys are the greatest family ever. And just want you to know that if the opportunity ever comes up for me to be adopted, you'll be my first choice. That's the way it works, right? Next up, why don't we open this up? Because this is big and I don't know what it is. Oh, yes I do, because they got to put it on the customs declaration card. It is from the UK, I can tell you that much, and that might be all I can tell you, sorry. Ho, 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 look at that. Oh, baby, this is adorable. Look at that box, man. <laughs> After many years, it is finally open. Hoo, hoo. Oh man, two Matt from Kaylee. Oh, and two Matt from Sean. Oh, Sean and Kaylee, is that you? Woo! Sean and Kaylee are two people who talk to me a lot on Twitter. They're super, super nice. So a while ago, I made a little birthday greeting for Kaylee because Sean was like, yo, do you want to do that for me, dude? And I was like, yeah, sure, let's do it. And, uh, and here is his letter. As promised, here's a small token of my gratitude for making that birthday video for my fiance for my fiance's big day, ooh. And I know I've said this so many times that it's probably annoying at this point, but yet again, thank you. Dude, you're welcome, okay, don't worry about it. You know, the crazy thing about being a YouTuber, guys, is it's so easy to make someone's day, you know? It's easy to make someone's day anyway, all right? I got smiled at the other day when I was in the supermarket, and I swear I felt better for the entire day. It's just nice, it's just nice to have positive human interactions, okay? I'm not an evil person. Sometimes I do nice things. All right, let's check it out, let's see what's in here, huh? Well, we got a family crest key ring. This is the O'Shea family key ring. Oh, a clip-on charm. I'm not really sure what it is. It's some sort of Irish thing. This is another O'Shea thing, guys. It says the surnames O'Shea, Shea, and She 
are of Gaelic Irish origin. You know, I don't actually know about my name, so this is kind of cool. The name arose as O'Shegada, <laughs> a personal name meaning fine, stately, fortunate. Oh, so my name, Shay, comes from fine, stately, fortunate. That's me. Look at this. Hogwarts, School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. What a nice shirt. Okay, as I suspected, guys, that is a shirt for Ashley. She is going to love the hell out of it, so thank you so much on her behalf. There is also Guinness Luxury Fudge with the delicious taste of Guinness. The cover fell off. Oh, no. And we also have an officially licensed t-shirt. Rick and Morty, tis the season to get riggedy riggedy wrecked. I love it. Thank you so much to Sean and Kaylee for sending me this awesome package. Like I said, Ashley is going to love the shirt. Now, guys, we're moving on to the last package I have here. I ordered this for myself, okay? This is still opening mail, but it's mail that I bought for me. I was originally going to do this as its own video, but uh, I decided against it, mainly because I don't want to throw up. And people said, you will throw up. <laughs> it is the world's largest gummy worm. Look at this thing. It's so heavy. I think it's 3,000 or 4,000 calories. I asked you guys on Twitter, I was like, let me just put that over there. So it, so it starts making noise. I asked you guys on Twitter a while ago, how much of this you think I could eat in one sitting? Here are the results. I don't know what they are now. I think when I first checked them, it was like 50% of people said that I'd, I'd be able to eat the whole thing. And then in the replies, there were a lot of people saying, if you do eat the whole thing, you're gonna either A, throw up or B, shit yourself. And I didn't want to do either. I am going to give a nice review of this thing, though. Let's just get it out of the bag here. Eh? Ugh. The thing about gummy candy, guys, is it's never as good when they make a larger version. It's a lot harder. And it probably has to be quite rigid if you're going to make a giant gummy worm or whatever. But I bought, uh, I think, sour green apple or just regular green apple or something and cherry. So let's try the green apple side, shall we? Ugh. You can hear my jaw cracking. I know. I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Maybe I should go to a dentist. Pretty damn tasty. I'm impressed. I was expecting less, but I did order my favorite flavors. So let's try the cherry side. Ah, so gummy. <laughs> you know, guys, having a giant version of something kind of takes the fun out of it. So I gotta say, the red side, equally delicious, guys. Both sides, delicious. Kinda hard to eat because it's so thick, you know, with them two C's. As for whether or not this thing is worth it, guys, I'm gonna have to say no, at least for me in Canada, because I had to pay an exchange rate and duties and a crazy amount of shipping. So not a good time. I would've been way better off just going out and buying a shit ton of gummy worms and then throwing up or shitting myself. After eating like a couple of bites of this, guys, I'm gonna say I probably wouldn't be able to get through even half of this in one sitting. This is the kind of thing you buy with like five of your friends and you all sit down and you, and you, you share it and you have a great time not such a great time when you're eating 4,000 calories by yourself that's double what I'm supposed to get in a day no thanks all right guys hopefully you enjoyed this video and it wasn't too dragged out or anything just have one question for you before you go what should I buy on the internet I mean there's so much crap out there guys so many weird things I could order online I think it'd be fun if we incorporated a little bit of that like I did in this video with future mail videos let me know if you think that's a good idea and if you do Leave a like! Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you're having a fantastic holiday season, and I hope you enjoy whatever the hell I decide to put on my channel in 2018. See ya.